everyone. So I decided that for this month, I will be doing top lists of my favorite things. And I decided to start with my top favorite movie scores list. I've been talking so much about movie scores in a lot of my reviews, so I decided it's only natural for me to do this first. Now this list is going to consist of 15 movie scores. And these might be ones that you might have not guessed would be on my top or how high up they are. But I still really love them for some reason, and some, I think a lot of them are really what a lot of people like. I'm going to make it interesting, and I'm going to choose one track from the album to play in the beginning, and it's going to be a blank screen, and you're going to have to guess which movie it's from. Now, some things might be easier than others. I'm not going to a lot of times play the actual main theme of a movie. I will be playing something maybe in the middle of the album that... I personally really find one of my favorite tracks in the score overall. So it's going to be a little bit interesting. And these tracks I chose because I think it really identifies why I love the score so much. So let's get started with number 15. Watchmen composed by Tyler Bates. This particular score I really like because of the interesting choices they make in the score. I like the tone of it. The tone is not very happy, but I really like the ambiance it sets. This particular track is one of my favorites in the album. I think it really sums together the feeling that these characters have after years of being a superhero and then them kind of retiring but also some of them kind of want to get back being who they were but some don't. Even though it's not a perfect film at all, I like it myself but I don't love it. I really do like the music for this. Not all of it works but I think a lot of it does. So let's go to number 14. Spider-Man composed by Danny Elfman. Now these, this is one of those scores that is just one of those heartwarming ones that I just listen to and I just, oh I love it so much because of how sweet it sounds. And that's really what most of this sounds like. There's a lot of very heroic sounds as well, but a lot of the tracks are really sweet and soft and I think that's the personality of Peter Parker. Those tracks like the one I played in the beginning really is Peter Parker. It kind of explains who he is perfectly in this film. And I know there's Peter Parker in The Amazing Spider-Man is a little bit different, but in this film, the way his personality is, this really is perfect for summarizing who he is and also Spider-Man aspect of him as well. And let's go to number 13. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, composed by Howard Shore. Now, I think this is a no-brainer why people love this so much. I personally love the first one the best, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is the only one of the movies that's made it onto this list. I like this one the best because it's the original, it's the first introduction to this world, to the music of it and everything, so I think it's really special. I love the themes of it also really much more than I do the other films, and there are a lot of really soothing tracks. Overall, it's just a really fantastic score. So, my number 12 is...
The Incredibles, composed by Michael Giacchino. I absolutely adore this score. I think it is so much fun to listen to. It fits the tone of the film perfectly. And it really brings back a more jazzy, 60s type of vibe. And I love that. I mean, you can bop your head to this soundtrack sometimes. Like, the opening, the first track is awesome. And I chose this softer track especially because it is my favorite in the whole entire movie. But also, I just think that where it's put in the film is perfect as well. I just love the score so much and really the music is half of why I keep watching The Incredibles. The other half is because it's absolutely amazing. So let's go to number 11. of the Caribbean at World's End composed by Hans Zimmer. I love this score because this one theme is so beautiful. I think it's one of the best romantic themes out there in movie history. The way the different instruments come in, it's just so beautiful and they play this throughout the film and it never gets tiresome. There are some themes where you're just like, alright, stop playing, would you? But this one, I don't mind listening to over and over again. And this is one of those scores where they keep playing the theme over and over again, but they play it in different ways to where it still feels original and it kind of meshes in with the tone at the time of the film. So my 10th favorite movie score is... AI Artificial Intelligence, composed by John Williams. Overall, even though it's a mess of the film, I think the music really <laughs> pushed me over the edge at the end. Like, it makes me cry. It's just one of those scores that I think provokes more emotion than, act than the actual movie does, but I think that it being sci-fi and really sci-fi and futuristic, it should have been more, but I still think it's a really beautiful score, and this one is the main theme, and I chose that theme because, I mean, I couldn't pick any other one, that one's the best one out of the whole entire album, but the whole, the whole album itself is great as well. Number 9 is a more recent score, which is going to be really ironic when you finally hear it, but here we go. Man of Steel, composed by Hans Zimmer. Yeah, I know that I mentioned in the review that I was really underwhelmed with the score, but Hans Zimmer kind of has that effect where you listen to it more and more and the more you like it. This is one of those scores that is a really exception to, oh my god, if it's the movie really great. I don't think it really does in the film. But I think overall just listening to it on your own, on your iPod while you're in your car or whatever, traveling. And also I gotta mention, overall a score, I gotta admit man, the drums are freaking awesome in this movie. Come on, just listen to this and you can't tell that you can't just bang your head like this. So 
my number eight film is E.T. The Extraterrestrial, composed by John Williams. I can't boast more about this score. I think that it's perfect in the film. It's so emotional, and it brings us so much goosebumps. And it really has a whimsical kind of feel to it as well, and a mysterious quality at the beginning, and also when they're finally getting to know one another, that type of music that they play, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful, it's so cute at the same time, and oh, I love it. I would put it higher, but I do have others that I love even more. So let's get to number seven. Zimmer. Yeah, this one is kind of in the category of Man of Steel, where I like listening to it more on its own than I do in the actual movie, but I think this one really suits the movie more than Man of Steel does because it's already established the themes and everything like that, and I really admire that it sounds much different from the others. I think that it would have been much better if James Newton Howard was still on board with Hans Zimmer writing, but I really do admire what new tracks there are and the difference in the tone of same themes that you've heard before. And I actually put the Dark Knight trilogy's music on different ranks uh, of, the, of this list, so you will see the other films, but they will be more higher up. Now six is a tie, but because they're in the same series, I thought really makes no sense. So let's start with the first in the tie. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban composed by John Williams. It's one of those, oh, warm-hearted, type scores like Spider-Man is. I think this one's better. I love the range in this whole entire score. It goes from being very whimsical to very sad, very melancholy, to very kind of suspenseful and scary. It's just so great. I love it so much. So let's get to the other tiebreaker. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, composed by Nicholas Hooper. I love this as much as I do Azkaban, but in a different way. This one is probably on the top list of the most serious ones because of what happens. And they do have some lighthearted tracks as well, but a lot of the tracks are really melancholy, really sad, and you know just by the way that the music is that something bad is going to happen. I just love the way the instruments go in this particular track, but the whole thing. So let's get to number five. composed by Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard. For some
some reason this score is kind of, it's not the best of the series, but this one really sets the mood of the, the world it's trying to create. It's the original, and I love a lot of the tracks they play. It is showing Bruce trying to get through these fears that he has and overcome them, and this particular track I chose, I think really showcase how he feels when his fears are brought back to life when he's an, an adult. It's really sad, but also it's beautiful just listening to the whole thing. The whole track, the whole score is great. The theme is good too, but this particular track I love so much out of the whole score, but overall the score is just great. So my fourth favorite movie score is... Superman Returns, composed by John Ottman. This one's kind of like, huh? Because it's not original, it's not fully original, but I love the tracks that are original. As you just heard, that is beautiful. The score is surprisingly really strong in this movie. Even though it's a bland movie, I think the music really is one of the main key factors of what's really fantastic about this film. I think that John Ottman did a great job of replaying a lot of John Williams themes but also adding some really great tracks as well like the one I just played for you. It is beautiful, it's sad at the same time, and also it's a heroic in a way too, but it's just something, I feel like the music really says a lot for the character of Superman that they're trying to convey in this film of how he comes back and he finds that things have changed. I had watched a recent Nostalgia Critic video, and I'm a big fan of his, and I gotta just steal something from him for a minute and say that he mentioned Superman Returns, and one of the few things that they did get right in the film was the weight on his shoulders of the big huge responsibility he has. The clip he played, this is the part where he takes her flying and they're just floating over a city and he asks her, what do you hear? She says, I hear nothing and he says, I hear everything. And also just that really that beautiful shot of him in space hearing everything in the world. I just think that the music really grasped that element that they're trying to get across through the whole film and that's why it's so high up. I I really love this track so much and throughout the years I've just been thinking of this music. It's kind of one of those things that you subconsciously think about it and it's kind of to the point where you're like, you know what? I can't believe I'm saying this but this is one of my favorite whatever, you know? And not, not a lot of people really favor this movie and I kind of don't, but also I do. <laughs> but I think that the music is a great part of the film and one of the best parts, I think, in general of any superhero film. And I love John Williams and I love what he did with the original, but John Ottman really added something special to Superman with this music. So number three is... by Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard. Do I really need to say why I love this score so much? Even though it's not really, a lot of things aren't really original because Batman Begins already established a lot of the themes, there are so many tracks that are original. The Harvey Dent theme, 
The Joker's theme is fantastic. This one I played is from Harvey Dent's theme, and it is beautiful. I don't think they actually use it in the film, but I had to just show this part of that score because it is breathtakingly beautiful, and I'm so surprised they didn't at least get a nomination for the score, but either way, I think that it's perfect for the film. So, on to number two. Inception, composed by Hans Zimmer. I know a lot of people kind of make fun of it at times because of the the horn. <laughs> but overall, I think really it's great for the film. The whole entire sound of the music feels like you're in a dream. There are a lot of tracks that are soothing to listen to, even the more fast-paced tracks are easy to listen to. You just feel really intense while listening to it. You feel like you can take on the world. This is a special score where a lot of people just, even if they're not really fans of movie scores, can listen to and really enjoy it. And I think that it should have won best score over than, I don't know, The Social Network. But either way, it was still nominated and rightfully so. This score is awesome. So my number one favorite movie score of all time is all of the Star Wars scores. I know that the prequels weren't the best, okay, they were crappy, but one aspect that was good in those prequels was the music and I had such trouble choosing one track that I decided let's just go for the theme. I absolutely adore Star Wars. The movie itself, the music, it's so iconic. I think that there are much more a variety of tracks in the original than there are in the prequels but both trilogies are equally great by John Williams. He still added really memorable themes to it. I can't help it. I love it. I couldn't put I have to put it as number one for both my favorite movies and also my favorite scores. Overall, all of these composers on this list are great. They added something awesome to these movies, whether they were mediocre or fantastic. Either way, the music is great and music really is a, is the sole reason of what makes a film so much better. It makes you pumped up, it makes you sad, it makes you happy, it makes you feel all sorts of emotions, and rightfully so, it should be recognized, and that's why it's my first top favorite list. Feel free to add any list you want me to do in the future, and I will. Anyway, until then, thank you so much for watching this long list, but I had fun creating this list, and I hope you had fun playing the guessing game of what movie it was from, and please subscribe and remember to always keep it real and i will see you in the next top favorite list as well as video game videos goodbye